Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Cubic Cauldron server episode 3 ladies and gentlemen and I tell you what this log shop was the best idea I've ever had so I think I showed it off in the last episode that people have been buying my stuff I'm out of dark oak and like half of the spruce that I had is gone so I need a better axe because iron axes no just just no. Um, so you can see, this is all the money I've got from the shop. Yeah, I know, right? Ridiculous. Um, so I did a bit of strip mining as well. Larry and I were just sort of on together and I felt like doing some strip mining. So I've got 11 diamond ore so using the silk touch picks, pick that Larry gave us. Um, she is currently on the server at the AFK fishing farm, which is out yonder. Uh, Rocky built that yesterday, I believe. Um, but she's trying to get to level 30, um, I think she's almost there, and when she does, she's going to be getting a fortune 3 pick, which she generously let us use, because, uh, when we smelted up all this, whoop, all this iron and gold and stuff, um, we let her take the experience to get her up to level 30, because I'm already at level 32. Um, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to grab three of these diamonds, oh, and Rocky gave me 12 diamonds for some iron, I, I don't know how much he took, but... Th thanks, I guess. Um, and I'm going to make myself a diamond axe. Boom. Um, I keep going to that chest, I don't know why. And I'm going to grab some lapis and we're going to head over to the enchanting station and hopefully get an efficiency unbreaking axe. Efficiency 3? Man, come on. For through the. Alright, so I thought it would be a good idea to try and get a slightly better enchant than the efficiency 3 that popped up. So I enchanted a level 1 iron axe, it gave me efficiency 2 for one level. Uh, and then the next thing that popped up was like fortune. Um, so again, I enchanted at level 1 and got efficiency 2 on breaking. Um, next thing that popped up is efficiency 3. So here's hoping that it gives me unbreaking 3 as well. Really? Really, Minecraft? Really? <sighs> Alright, so I grabbed uh, a few books just to see if I could get another Efficiency 3 book for a level 30 enchant, but it's like garbage. Um, now I was having a look to see what else would be the next tool one, which is Unbreaking 3, which is pretty cool. Um, would be super useful because then I could add it to this axe. Uh, but then I was just like, oh, maybe I'll have a look to see what sword is. And it's looting three. So I think I'm going to wait until I get 30 levels and then I'm going to do looting three on a uh, diamond sword. But for now, I think what I'm going to do is use these two iron axes until they're completely gone. Cut down some spruce and dark oak to refill the shop. Um, and then once I've got something else to show you guys, I'll bring you all back. Hello? Oh, hi. <laughs> so, um, I got a pickaxe. Ooh, it's so shiny. I know, right? It it's is. beautiful. <laughs> it's as shiny as my axe. My amazing <laughs> silk touch efficient, efficiency three. Silk, yeah, yeah. silk touch axe. That sounds pretty beautiful. Well, I hope that this actually makes your day a little bit better. I got over double the amount of ore that I got, so... Ooh, nice. Well, yeah. let's, let's, let's see. I'm, I'll do it right now. So How many got... do you have? 11? Yeah. Dude, yeah. I had double the amount of ore that you had. Or yeah. almost double. Uh, wait, wait. Let's make it so that I can't tell straight away. Alright, ready? Ready? Yep. Let's do this. Oh, you're actually getting really lucky. <laughs> I'm guessing... Well, you were until... 33. I'm guessing, like, 28. 19. Oh. Uh, that's not bad, though. I don't like that pick. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank, thanks for that, Larry. Okay. Um, I mean, you got... You got eight more diamonds than you're supposed to so yeah that's better than no diamonds right yeah yeah that's better than no diamonds i shall cherish my now 52 and full set of diamond armor <laughs> well that's 
Yeah, you go get Garrett up. Go make yourself a better axe. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> uh, Larry left me a present. She was on uh, with me. Just if you don't know, Larry and I are actually uh, actually live together. So she was hanging around when I enchanted my uh, diamond axe in the last episode. My efficiency three silk touch diamond axe. She saw how disappointed I was, and she gave me this. Look at this, I'm breaking three efficiency four silk touch. <laughs> I don't know if she's deliberately got a silk touch and put it on there or not, or if it just came with silk touch, but thank you very much, Larry. It's amazing. I'm really happy with that. That's gonna make getting wood so much easier. Speaking of which, guys, spruce wood. Half of it's gone. Dark oak, I've got less than a stack. Oak wood, I've got less than a stack. Jungle, nobody's been grabbing. The, uh, Birch nobody's been grabbing and the acacia I just grabbed a stack because I actually didn't have any wood um, and I need some wood because As you can see I've got a bunch of diamonds in my inventory. I've got some lapis here Look at the armor I've got on like I went for a little bit of a caving adventure by myself and You know my, my helmet and my chest plate both gone my leggings are like almost dead and I end up having broken boots And I found these I think I killed a baby zombie and got these so like I mean they're Pretty damn good, like enchant wise. Depth Strider 2 on breaking 3 protect projectile protection 4 is pretty good. But, I mean, they're gold boots, right? So I've got some diamonds here and I want to do some enchants. Um, so I got to level 40. And I figure that should be enough to get some fully enchanted diamond. Is there no crafting table here? The things I put up with. No, no, no. Um, so let's throw a crafting table here. I'm going to make myself. A full set of diamond armor. Ah, oh, it feels so good to see that sweet, delicious diamond armor. There we go. Um, pants. And I'm going to have to use... So, uh, Rocky borrowed some iron from me and gave me 12 diamonds. I don't know how many iron he borrowed, but apparently it's 12 diamonds worth. Alright, so we've got a full set of diamond armor. Um, I'm hoping to get some good enchants on these, so we'll see. Uh, let's go for this one first. Blast protection, no thank you. That's going to be... Ooh, protection 4 is pretty good. I want to save that. Uh, fire protection's kind of average. Protection 4. Alright, let's take the protection 4 on the chest plate. Come on, something else. Protection 4, I'm breaking 3. I'll take that. That's actually pretty good. Alright, what do we get for the pants? Fire protection? No, I don't want fire protection. Fire, no, I don't want fire protection. And protection for. Alright, well, I want a depth strider or frost walker or feather falling or all of them. But I'll take the protection four for now. Okay, protection four, I'm breaking three. It's pretty good. What are we getting here? Acro affinity? Alright, I'll take acro affinity because I like that. Acro affinity. Fire protection 4, I'm breaking 3. Yeah, it's not bad. Alright, pants. Fire protection 3. Alright, nope. Just, just nope. Um, what can I do? I can enchant a level 1 book. For protection 1. Ready, boosh. Done, protection 1. Alright, pants, something better. I'm breaking 3. Alright, I'll take the unbreaking... Why am I putting diamonds in there? Take the unbreaking 3. Yeah, protection three. That's it's not horrible. So there we go. I should take this garbage off. Put that stuff on. There we go. My first set of fully enchanted diamond gear. And this is what we ended up with. I'm breaking three, fire protection four, aqua affinity. Pretty decent. Respiration will be good. Um, but you know, not necessary. Chest plate is protection four, I'm breaking three, which is pretty good. Uh, leggings, protection 3, I'm breaking 3, I can get a protection 3 book eventually, um, and then the boots is protection 3, I'm sorry, protection 4, I'm breaking 3, so all in all, not a bad set of enchants, um, I will, hmm, I'm gonna go grab some stone, I wanna check to see what, um, I know at one point I did say I was gonna wait and keep the looting 3 that I could have gotten on a sword, but, um, to be completely honest with you, I forgot. So, you know. Oh, that's right, I've got no cobble. Um, <laughs> I've been doing some building, which is something that uh, I will show you later in this episode. Um, I'm just going to grab some cobblestone, because I want to make 
I have a pick on me. I am such a derp. Uh, I just wanted to see what enchants I could get. And I have that stuff on me and here I am running around like a fool. Alright, what can I get? I'm breaking three on a pick isn't great. And knockback two on a sword is pretty terrible. Uh, what do we what do we get on a book? Protection three. Oh, don't have the levels for it. All right. Well, um, I have decided to build something over on that side. Oh look, horse stables, and so many skelly horses. Um, yeah, I've decided to build something over on this side over here. I've picked out a spot. Alright, so we're over on the other side of spawn, um, over in that direction there is the little spawn cauldron, the junction. Uh, you can see there is something, I'm not going to show that off just in case they haven't shown it off in their episode, but Flues was building that. Um, and here is our wall, so on this side of the junction, well, on the other side is like the farming peasant village, right? Medieval peasant village type deal. On this side uh, is going to be the more upper class, I guess. Uh, the nicer area, so we've got a wall like protecting it all. Um, I'm not sure who's been building this but I really like it. It's cool um, And you can see it sort of stretches all the way across there And um, we've got a little dock down here, which is pretty sweet But you know what better to protect the rich folk than a watchtower So I figured that's what I'm gonna build and I'm gonna build on this island here. That is a really large squid Why does it look so humongous? It's creepy Anyway, um, so I'm going to build on this island here, and I think I might build like a little bridge that stretches up over to here as well, um, and just have like a tiny little portcullis or something over there, but that's what I'm going to do, so I, I figured I'd head over here and sort of scope the area out, you can see we've got a few boats um, lying around, and as you can tell by the axe in my inventory, yes, I have been cutting down a lot of trees, uh, so I brought some materials here with me. I think what I'm going to do is start with just sort of tearing down these trees, maybe flatten the area out a little bit to make everything like a little bit easier for me. Um, so I might do a bit of terraforming and then once I've sort of got everything planned out on what I'm going to build, I'll bring you back and show you what I've been up to. Alright, so we're back and I've been doing a bit of work. I, I meant to do an update a little bit earlier but I kind of got carried away with what I was doing. Uh, so here's the grand reveal. Boosh. Um, I like it. I'm not a big builder of like medieval towers or like even generally just anything that looks like a normal actual building. Um, I tend to do some pretty weird trippy stuff like if you watched any of my stuff last season you, you would have seen like me build my egg or even my main base was you know it wasn't like a typical building that you'd normally see um, so this is this is a bit of a, a bit different from what I normally do um, obviously you know still need to add in a floor and all that sort of stuff and some little details I want to put in some like you know cracked stone and mossy stones mossy cobble uh, that sort of stuff just to give it a bit of detail because at the moment I mean it's it's nice but it's lacking details um, I still got to work on the top, uh, a little like actual tower top part, and then I got to figure out how I'm going to get up there. Um, it's probably going to be a ladder, like a, a little pillar in the middle with a ladder on it, something like that. Or maybe you just don't even actually go up the top. I'm, yeah, I'm not too sure. We'll see, but then I'll probably add in some chests down the bottom. Uh, and actually like live here for a little bit. I think I might make this like one of my m little main sort of areas um, At least for now because you know people are gonna be working on stuff here and I like this. I think it's cool uh, So let's hop in here and see you know, We don't have a lot of space to work with here, so I may even Go down a level and then have like my actual storage and stuff underneath uh, do like a little dungeon cave thing, but yeah, this is It's good, but like I said, it's lacking some details. So like things like this will make it look nice um, but I'm gonna keep work working on it and uh, Misplaced that block horribly um, But yeah, once I've got a little bit more work done, I'll bring you back and 
give you a little bit more of an update. Alrighty, I'm back with another update and you can see that I've put the roof on it. Uh, that's pretty much all I've done. Um, I've done a little bit of work on the inside, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, but yeah, it definitely needs a little bit of something. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know. I was thinking about making the roof out of stone, but then I'm like, roofs don't get made out of stone. Uh, duh. So I went with the birch because we don't actually have access to the nether yet. We still haven't gone in. Um, that and I think using quartz would be a bit too bright white. Um, but it, it's cool. I like it. I like the way it sort of turned out. Um, <clears throat> down in my little chest over there, I have some... I've got some... Uh, Cobble, mossy cobble, um, cracked stone bricks and mossy stone bricks, which I think I'm going to change out for some of the um, some of the stuff on the actual tower. And I think that'll give it like a nice little sort of worn look, like kind of a little bit matching the the wall we've got here. Um, it'll just make it a bit more interesting. There'll be a bit more to look at, and it won't be quite so just like <clears throat> I'm a tower sort of thing. So we'll head inside if I can get up there. Um, oh, also, um, from that little entrance, I'm going to build a bridge that comes over to here. So it'll be a bit easier and you won't have to go through the water. And that's why I built the entrance on this side. Um, going to put a door in here at some point. Not sure what kind, but we come in here and I kept the floor nice and simple. You can see I've used the mossy uh, stone brick and the cracked stone. And then I've got a nice little staircase that leads up. Um, I was just going to put like a ladder, but kind of ugly so the ladder starts here and I kept this pillar going all the way to the very very top here and then you can come up here and yeah you get a nice view of like the dock down there which is cool uh, you get a good view over here and like back over into like the the market area and to uh, Larry's house that that's Larry's house by the way um, I think Matthew's building just over there but yeah I think it's cool and the perfect spot to stare at the witch house yep that that's really why i built the tower to spy on the witch because i don't i don't even know I've, I've gone delirious with all this building i'm not used to building something that doesn't resemble a giant egg um so yeah that's what i've been working on i'm gonna do a bit more work on it but i think i'm gonna leave it here for today guys and girls uh, i've had a long long day today i uh, worked all day and you know it's the end of the week, it's the start of my weekend, so I'm getting ready for a bit of fun with some friends over the next few days. So, that is going to do it. If I can turn my camera around, there we go. Get a nice nice view there. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to favorite and subscribe. And until the next episode, I'll see you all then.